You know, guys, I was thinking about how my mom used to fight against the uh, evil cabal taking over this little corner of the world with their big oil tank plans, which were to, I think they wanted to have a, a stop off point near here that, uh, and my mother and her raging grannies fought against it, plus a lot of other people in town. This is a very um, free thinking, liberal in, a, in the old fashioned good way town, not the new fangled insane version of what liberal has become talking about the back in the day when liberal meant freedom and freedom of speech and um, healthy planet. So I was just remembering how my mother fought constantly against every war that was going on while she was conscious of it. And she used to write letters to the president and to Congress about stopping the Vietnam War. And my dad used to say to me, um, what did he say? He said, you know, hold a steady strain. Um, don't follow the crowd. Uh, you know, they were both mavericks in their own ways. I come from this maverick bloodline, a breakaway. There's a breakaway bloodline that, um, had, that created breakaway civilizations on other planets when they were fleeing from the Draco, uh, Orion, Lyran wars. We all come from, there's, you know, there's us, the, the Lyrans, and then there's the Draco, who were created probably by the AI matrix in the Black Mirror Matrix of Hell, where we've been take, where we've been being taken over. And then, and then the Draco are so brilliant that they create these systems that enslave people and uh, lock them into mind control of all kinds, and, and most importantly, religion, of course, religion. And... Um, not to mention being drugged and poisoned and having the water have poisons and toxins in it that dull our brains, make us sick, keep us hooked on big pharma, you know, Western medicine, um, med medical, whatever. So the, as long as you're taking meds and big pharma and you're not utilizing the earth herself, and most meds are made from the earth, they've just been altered and bastardized to create different things. You know, how do these meds even work? How do they know about, you know, meds for um, people with depression, people with um, schizophrenia, people who hear voices in their heads and just there's, there's it's so complicated. So they, they, they think everything's, uh, uh, that the answer to everything is to take a pill, take a pill. You know, where did that concept even come from? taking a pill was, was the be all and end all of everything. It makes you wonder. That's a mind control. Everything worshiping is mind, a form of mind control. Giving our power away is another form of mind control that they actually programmed around the planet, um, to make the sheeple who are people, but they're trying to sheepalize the people by drugging them down, dulling them down. Um, removing them from accessing the part of their body that would give them basically the magic powers, which aren't magic, but science. Magic and science were the same thing at one time. Um, and there was a split between magic and science um, that the, the master magicians and, you know, the Anunnaki bigwigs decided to do back in the 1500s was to make magic seem like one thing and science seem like a different thing to confuse the people, to separate out the information and to create um, a battle within the people. Some battling for magic or energy medicine and some um, thinking that science is separate from magic, which it's not. It's a mind control. And uh, all of this is mind control. All of these structures, these, these patterns of thought, these patterns of behavior, going to school, going to college, going to the store, reading books to achieve this, learning how to do this and that. These are constructs that have been altered to create a certain thing, which is basically a slave race using human beings, which have a high level of Anunnaki genetics or essence. And, um, they keep all they keep adding more and more Anunnaki essence, and that's part of, part of the reason why I believe there's so many more amazing athletes. You know, you get these incredible people. You see these videos of people doing these incredible feats, more and more amazing every time. And I think it's partially they keep adding more Anunnaki genetics to people to give them more physical skills. Yet they want those 
those beings, which probably end up becoming some kind of a soldier, a super soldier, without even realizing it probably, um, to, to, to work for them and be under their control. So you can have a high-level being, but that's unconsciously under control of an evil force. And uh, being empowered, being a sovereign individual, um, not giving our power away, not believing that we have to have an unseen God that we don't know of, these are all belief systems that keep us enslaved. And, um, you know, a lot of these things sound good, but are actually another form of en enslavement or... Um, it's designed by, you know, very brilliant, evil, uh, Lucifer, Luciferian ideas, agendas. He's a genius. He's always been a genius. And, uh, he's the trickiest one, I'll tell you. He's, he's got it down. He knows, he knows what he's doing, um, if he's still alive, which is questionable. So now the light starts to, now that the sun is up, uh, the light will start to affect everything else and create a beautiful glow. Oh gosh, you can see it now. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So pretty. Look, look Richard. See this path wasn't here when you were when you were here, but those houses probably were. See, this is the magic hour. So it's like a, it's probably after 5 a.m. and the morning sun. Oh, I love you. She comes up and my face I bask in the, the morning sun the early morning sun is the safe sun this is the one you can you know look you don't have to I don't I'm not looking directly at the glowing ball but I'm my eyes are darting around it and the feeling of this glow on my face feels so good so I I go for the sun in the early morning hours and the the evening uh sunset hours those are my favorite times to be out in the sun and um the midday sun is hard on me sometimes you see how things are starting to close. This is a good time to walk around town and make a video of, um, I'm in my rope. <laughs> no one's down here, you know. It's like, the, I get the whole place to myself. It's amazing. As soon as I see a human being, I'm probably going to da dash, dot away. But this morning sun is so fabulous, guys. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. I wish I could do a live. I just can't get the tech to work. I was trying to do a live sitting here, you know, and uh, I made two other videos of the sunrise, which were absolutely gorgeous. The colors were amazing. This is before the sun came up over the horizon. Now the sun is up over the horizon, creating a beautiful glow. I mean, this is just, a, you know, a good couple of hours of, uh, or maybe, I don't know, is it an hour, an hour and a half of um, really beautiful sunrise visuals when and there's clouds, you know, there's there's clouds. So the sun might go behind those clouds and everything will change. But the sun was below these clouds and creating these pink hues, which I have plenty of photos of, which I'll post. And uh, this, see, this feels like a magical moment. My feet are bare feet on the ground. I'm, I've got the early morning sun on my face. Mm, there's no breeze. But except for, you can feel the a little bit of cool in the air. So it's not too hot. This is why I also like to be out. I like it when it's not too hot. And when there's just a, you know, I'm Nordic. I've got the Nordic bloodline. So I'm kind of used to the cold in the north. And I, I don't like to be cold either. I hate it. I absolutely do not love it. I don't love being out in the cold. Um, but it's what my bloodline is more used to. I'm definitely not, I definitely falter in extreme heat um oh it's so pretty guys very beautiful lovely see now the lights before these things were in shadow so now the light is starting to glow on all these things all the plants and then that's a whole new unbelievably wonderful photo opportunity all right guys love you